What's good? I'm back again with another video and you may have noticed two things. One, the background's a little different. Um, I kind of like being further away from the window a little bit more. That way I can actually sit in a chair because before I was sitting on my bed and I actually have a little bit more movement. You know what I mean? I'm still going. And number two, you may have noticed that something may be a little bit shorter. It might be um, a little thicker, a little fuller, a little bit more um, voluminous, something a little bit more hydrated and um, healthy. You may notice it throughout this video. Um, if you know what it is, let me know in the comments down below. It's a, you can't miss it, <laughs> you know what I mean? Those were just two things that I wanted to put out there real quick, but here are my favorite things from the month of September. So I've got a bunch of beauty stuff and a couple of like fashion pieces. So I'm gonna start with skincare first. So this is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. You may have saw, saw this. You may have seen this in my night routine video that I uploaded last month. This stuff is incredible. It's different from the other cleansing balms that I've used. For example, the Vanilla Coke Clean It Zero. Um, that cleansing balm leaves like a greasy, like cloudy, oily residue on my face. And the only way that I can take it off is if I wipe it off with a towel. Like it will not come off with water. The Clinique um, cleansing balm, on the other hand, it literally melts into the skin and removes everything. And then once you rinse your face with water, everything's gone. Like there's no oily or greasy residue. All the makeup is gone. Like matte lipsticks, uh, waterproof mascaras, literally everything is gone after I use this stuff. And I suppose it is kind of like a cult favorite because the comments that I got on my night routine video were people who were all saying like the exact same thing that I'm saying right now. Um, it's just a really good product and it's a really great way to remove your makeup before you actually cleanse your face. Um, I personally don't like using makeup wipes just because I don't like all that tugging on your skin. Also, makeup wipes never remove all makeup. So I just really like this cleansing balm because it removes everything and it like is hydrating. It doesn't like strip my skin and make it feel super dry. So yeah, I would highly recommend this as the first step of your double cleanse. Okay, the next product that I've really been loving is the Polish Choice Niacinamide Booster. This is 10% niacinamide. Niacinamide, niacinamide, <laughs> niacinamide has a lot of uses in skincare. I personally only really use it for brightening hyperpigmentation, but some of the other things that niacinamide claims to do is like help with smoothing skin, like evening out the skin tone, minimizing the appearance of pores, um, which is all great, don't get me wrong, but I really only use niacinamide for like evening my skin tone because one of my biggest skin concerns is post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So I have been using this stuff to clear out um, hyperpigmentation from a breakout that I had. When I filmed my Taylor Swift Halloween collab video, um, we all wore wigs. Apparently you're supposed to wash synthetic wigs before you wear them. I ain't do all that, and so I broke out literally everywhere where the uh, wig touched my skin. So it was like all around here and also on my neck. Um, and because I was breaking out, it left a lot of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, and I've been using this stuff to really help clear it out. Um, let me get up here and see if you can see it. Okay, you can barely see it, but like, because I'm wearing makeup, obviously. But this used to be super, super dark. It was so dark that not even um, my foundation could cover it. Like I had to put a concealer on it. Um, but as you can see, it is like way less intense. I only started using this to brighten hyperpigmentation. But one thing that I've noticed is that once I started using it, uh, my skin was less oily. Um, I didn't start using this product for, cause right down here it says it minimizes pores. I didn't use it for that reason. I just used it to like help with my hyperpigmentation, but niacinamide is just a great ingredient y'all. And I would highly recommend this for, um, like hyperpigmentation or oily skin, stuff like that. The next products that I've really been loving, I have no idea why I waited so long to use this product. It is the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. So before I was using this lip exfoliator, I was using the Lush Lip Scrub, the Bubblegum Lip Scrub, which is a great product, don't get me wrong, and I still like it. However, 
The process is a little bit messy because you have to dip your finger into a jar and then put it on your lips. And some of the scrub gets underneath your fingernails and then you have like all this sugar like on the like sink and the counter and it's just, it's a really intense process. <laughs> However, with the uh, e.l.f. lip exfoliator, it comes in a stick form like this, so it literally looks like lipstick. And the thing is, because it's a stick, you can just open it like this, exfoliate your lips like this, and then what I do afterwards is I take a cotton pad, I wet it, and then I just wipe it away and it's done. Like, no, no sugar in the sink, nothing under your fingernails, you don't even have to touch the product, like, you just, it's just a superior experience. And also, this is only $3, so can you really go wrong with this product? I don't think you can. All right, now we're going to move into like accessories and like fashion items. So the first fashion accessory that I wanna talk about is this ear cuff that I got from Aldo. Um, this actually came in like one of those earring sets, you know those earring sets that Aldo has? And it came with like a bunch of studs but I have only really been using this ear cuff because I just fell in love with it. I think it's just so cute and it adds like a little something extra. Like if you put your hair in a ponytail or if you do like a slick back look where your hair is like not in your face, this is just like the perfect accessory to kind of like, I don't know what I'm saying. Like it just adds something cool and extra um, if your hair is like all pulled back and I've just really been loving it lately. I've been loving it so much that I've actually considered getting like a double helix piercing. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do that because I am a wussy, but um, you know, I just might do it, you know, stay tuned to find out. But yeah, I just been loving it a lot lately and I actually love it so much that I'm going to keep it on for the rest of this video. <laughs> All right, so moving on to the next item. I have really been loving this backpack from Madewell. You guys have seen this on my channel so many times. I included it in my last fashion video. I've included it in my last lookbook video. It's just the perfect size, you know? It's um, by Madewell. It has a pocket right here in the front and then a bigger pocket, like the main pocket. And then within the main pocket, there's like another pocket where I put my wallet inside. Um, and I just think it's super cute. It's the perfect size, not too big, not too small for an everyday backpack. It fits everything that I need without being too big. And yeah, I just think it's like the perfect everyday, like casual backpack. And uh, I just think that it's super cute. All right, so the next um, fashion item that I've really been loving are my Adidas. These are the Adidas ATR-X, I believe they're called. ATR stands for all-terrain. Um, these are actually like athletic shoes, but I use them as ath both athletic shoes and like fashion shoes. <laughs> um, I just think that they're so cute. In general, like this little um, like knit fabric on sneakers has been really in lately. I'm pretty sure it's because of um, the Yeezy trend. Also, these are so comfortable they're so lightweight i feel like i'm walking on clouds also it has like this cool little arch situation right here at the bottom um and it provides a little bit of arch support which is really good because i have very flat feet really been loving it highly recommend if you're looking for a new pair of athletic shoes that you could also double as a fashion shoe the last fashion accessory that i've been loving is this necklace stack from madewell um again you've seen this on my channel a lot but i've really been loving this because it just looks so cute. You can see this styled in my um, fall trends video, but I just really like using this um, to accentuate like really basic outfits, like t-shirts. Like this is a t-shirt dress that I got from H&M. It was $10, but I just really like using this necklace stuff to kind of like upgrade an outfit, you know what I mean? So accessories can really just like take an outfit there you know, especially if it's like a basic outfit, like a t-shirt dress. I've really been loving it. <laughs> okay, now for real, the last item is a tech item. It is my my charge power bank or like portable charger. This thing has saved my ass so many times. Everything in this video will be linked in the description box, but here's a few things that I like about it. So number one, this plugs directly into the wall because it has like these little prongs here. You could plug it directly into the wall which is cool because most power banks, like my Mophie power bank, um, you actually have to buy like an extra cube or use the cube that you use to charge your phone to plug it into the wall to charge it. Um, with this on the other hand, like 
you don't have to have an extra power cube. You just plug it in there. Um, it also comes with two wires attached so you don't have to worry about like those long wires or like forgetting a wire at home and then you know it's rendered useless if you forget your uh, charging cable at home because then you can't charge your phone <laughs> so i like that it comes with two attached to the power bank it comes with a lightning cable and then it comes with a micro usb cable and it also comes with an extra um, USB input in case you want to charge three devices or you want to charge a device that isn't lightning or micro USB. Also, it charges phones super fast. It has a 3.4 amp output. One time I charged my phone and I actually wrote this down because I was like shook by how fast it charged. I was at 26% and I charged my phone for eight minutes and it was already at 44% after eight minutes. So this charges your devices super fast. Also, it has, I think it's 10,050 milliamp per hour. So there's a lot of juice in this stuff. Um, one, when I was filming my um, Halloween collab with my friends, um, I charged four people's phones from like around 20% to like 80% all on one charge on this um, power bank. So this stuff has saved my ass so many times. If you're a person that's always on their phone or always on their iPad and you don't always have somewhere to charge your phone, like you're always out and about, I would highly recommend investing into one of these. And those were my favorite things from the month of September. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see more favorites videos, you know what I'm saying? Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys next time.